The Walt Disney Film Archives is a pretty brilliant book. It's also not the cheapest book. So having just finished reading it, I thought I'd do a little overview in case anybody's considering buying it and you want to know roughly what to expect to see if it's worth the money. But I will say it is worth the money. The only real issue is that occasionally it'll gloss over some of the films and some of the grammar really needs tightening up as well. But if you can look past that, it's a pretty fabulous book. So as you can see here, it's the animated movies from 1921 to 1968. And it's basically one article or one essay pretty much per every Disney feature animation released in this time period. And the design of the book is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's got quite a good size to it. And there are some wonderful photos on the inside. I'll show you a brief look in a moment. And this little special bit. I know it's just a bit of paper, but I just thought that was such a, a lovely little touch. So I'm not going to stop on every page. It will just be a very quick look at what you can expect. And I'm just going to pop that on the inside so it doesn't get in my way. Because, as I said, it's not currently the cheapest option or, or the cheapest book out there. But I do think it's worth the money. So I'm going to go backwards because it's easier to flip. But as you can see, it goes from Snow White to Jungle Book and each section includes, so as you saw there, Fun and fr Fancy Free doesn't actually have anything to it um, in terms of any articles. I'm not entirely sure why that was. There are a couple of other ones like that. Maybe nobody wanted to submit any articles about it. I'm not sure. Um, but occasionally there were some where I thought oh, I could really read about that and there wasn't anything there but it's it's very few and far between and the articles basically provide a history of how that certain feature came about any problems with, with the production of it quotes from animators at the time which I thought was particularly fascinating um, as you can see a lot of it's supported with illustrations photos of the crew visually it really is an absolute delight to read um, we do have a little bit there about the beginnings of Walt Disney um, with the Alice comedies and um, the few other films that came first but it really is just absolutely stunning and as you can see it's got such a good size to it it's got you know a lot of detail in here and that's even with a couple of the films not getting anything um getting any articles so aside from the grammar issues and it needing really a decent edit um the actual content is really pleasing it's an absolute joy to read despite the fact that i've read many disney books at this point i actually learned several things throughout this so i was really satisfied with that I'm trying to think of which ones were my favourite. Uh, if we just go to the... Also, how amazing is this contents? I've never seen a contents page like that. Um, ones that I found particularly interesting were Mary Poppins. I Mary Poppins is one of my favourite films of all time. So I thought, what can this teach me? But actually, there were some really interesting insights and some really great quotes as well. Um, there's a lot of information about Walt Disney and how he came to acquire various rights to different films. It's just an absolute delight to read. The only book I've ever read that comes even close to this, the title of which I actually can't remember, but it's The Women of Disney. If you want to know which book I mean, let me know and I'll, I'll double check the title. But it's a book basically looking at all of the Disney animations during the Golden Era but from the women's perspective, the females who were working at Disney at the time. This is probably equally as comprehensive, but with different focuses. So the two books probably accompany one another very well. Either way, if you're a Disney fan, I thoroughly recommend the Walt Disney Film Archives. It really is an absolute joy.